This is my Toyota GT86. I bought Crash Damage. But today, myself and Freddy over there, we're gonna finally finish the GT86 off and give it to someone who deserves it, who's gonna enjoy it a lot more than what I would. It's me, right? No, not Freddy. Okay. After rebuilding the GT86, I fitted a wide body rocket bunny kit to it and then used it as a drift car. But today, we get to finally finish it and give it away to someone who's going to love it a lot more than me. But already, things aren't going to plan. So, a massive change of plan. The plan was to give this GT86 to Scoot, who's Chiro's filmer. You'll all get to see Scoot and his story later on in the video. But there was a problem. A bit of miscommunication and it is now quarter to six. And he said, what time is he going to be here? Half seven. Half seven. I don't um, think this is possible. This, I, it, I, I, it needs a lot. There is a list of things that we need to sort in the time scale that we've got. Starting with one, the battery. Two, there's an issue with the seat. Number three. Brakes. Yeah, that's a big one. Yeah, yeah, car doesn't stop. That'd be bad. Brakes. Four, clean. Five, we can uh, align all the body panels, make sure all the panel gaps are uh, correct. And, uh, you know, that, we'll, we'll call those finishing touches, yeah. Yeah, so we'll put a maybe in this one. <laughs> so. Let's go. First thing we need is the battery, as that's probably going to be the main reason why this car doesn't start. Battery is important. Brakes are also important. This has zero brakes. I can't put the car in the air whilst it's doing that. Maybe I should start cleaning it. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get, give it a nice. Uh, start nice cleaning it. We can't get wet in here. We're going to have to quick detailer, MA quick detailer. I'm going to clean the carbon bonnet. I soon realized I was wasting my time quick detailing the car. I needed to get onto another issue. Oh, there is a major issue with the seat. I'm gonna have to get onto that. It's on the original rails, just bolted to them. And this one does that on its own for some unknown reason. Uh, so I'm gonna take this one out and have a look. That one I think is fine. <laughs> if they come off, <laughs> we'll be good to go. So whilst I was trying to play around with the seat to get it to work, Freddie made some progress with the battery. Okay, so battery is in. Uh, try to start it. Okay. So Japanese car, feel like it's going to start. Woo, there we go. Yeah, that's good. All right, turn it off. Let's work on this thing. <laughs> it's a good, that's a good point. We're, uh, we're still losing time. Battery ticked off the list. This is not the right way to clean a car, by the way. But we still had a lot more to do. And I was still messing around with the seat. Ugh, they are not coming out. And the time was ticking down for Scoot to arrive. And I really wanted to make sure that this car was pretty much perfect for him. Oh! 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 Yeah! <laughs> um, ish. I've just got to secure the seat a bit better because it does that. Scoot, if you're watching this, I'm making sure this is super, super safe and... You should be talking to Scoot's mum. Yeah. <laughs> Scoot's mum, this car is 100% safe. Save the manual. Freddie was making sure the engine looked in tip-top shape, but then he noticed something was missing from the engine bay. So take a look at this. Um, due to Matt's modifications, we have to do the brakes. But what's cool is that we can do the brakes while they're still on the car. <laughs> we can get to everything right here. Oh boy, why? This, this is not a good idea. And now, a problem with the brakes. Okay, we only have brake pads and not brake discs. And oh my, oh wow. Yeah, there's a big lip on that disc. Um, yeah, we're gonna need brake discs. Is there a parts store around here? It's 10 past six. Uh, yeah. Really? Yeah, it goes at five. It goes at five? <laughs> yeah, it goes at five. That's insane. Oh, here's what we can do, okay? We can offer him a Matt Armstrong warranty, <laughs> and that includes the brakes at a later date. Yeah, <laughs> I think they might need, he might need that. So we are going to be prepping and painting this uh, bottom bit here. You can see it looks like poo. So uh, we're just going to be putting some satin black on it. And uh, we have to prep it first because it's all dirty. So we have some cellulose thinner. It's probably not the right thing to do. So Freddie was about to clean up some of the parts he was about to paint. Then he got a little curious. So Matt, what, what's the actual history on this car? Well, actually, you could find out using Car Vertical. So when you check the GT86 out on Car Vertical, this is what comes up. 
There's been no mileage fraud, and that's why it's a green tick there. It's not been recorded as stolen, but there is an amber light to show that it's been in an accident. And there's no outstanding finance. On the report, I can see the full history of the car if Freddy wants to know. I can also see the mileage graph and when and where the car was written off. And on some cars, if they were auctioned off at the Car Crash Auction website, you can actually see the photos of when they were auctioned off, like this Mercedes A-Class. <laughs> so go and check your car out today and see if it's got any weird history that you might not know about, or a car that you're potentially about to buy by clicking the link in the description box below. And with my link, you're gonna save yourself a nice bit of cash as well. Cheers, Car Vertical. So even though this is, uh, you know, kind of a pack way of doing things. You do want to do light coats. Jack would be crying if he saw this. What's going on, man? I, I feel like this is the way you would have done it, you know? That's exactly how I would have done that. <laughs> After Freddy finished painting his masterpiece, he was dying to show me. Solid 10. That's, that's a 10 out of 10? Out of 10. It's better than it was. Do you know what we should probably do? What? Check the oil and the coolant. Yeah, I checked the coolant. There's some in there. Checking the oil. Perfect. And it's clean. The seat I have fixed. Whatever position you may like. And it's solid. Um, <laughs> I don't know why I did that. Seats. Done. There's an issue with the brakes. Uh, we'll get to that. So we're going to skip forward to part four, which is clean. Um, part six should be give it to Scoot. Um, part four, let's clean it. Now Scoot has no idea that he's about to get this GT86. So we want to make the handover as special as possible. 7 p.m. We've got half an hour. This is the, the, uh, the time has gone like that. We've got to get this clean. I hope he likes it because if not, we rushed for no reason. Surely he's gonna like it. So GT86, what's not to like? Daylight was not on our side, but we just about got it nice and clean and ready for when Scoot arrives. Yo, yo, just running out of light. So this is Chiro. Chiro arranges a lot of car shows that I go to. Yeah, we're wondering whether we could nick Scoot for if you've got a camera. But I mean, yeah. And this is Scoot. The guy that films a lot of Chiro's content, he is a super nice guy and loves cars. Let's hope he likes the GT86. If you could film. We told him we're filming a video for the second channel and he has no idea what for. So here it goes. Finally, after all of that stress, getting it ready, and it's not quite ready yet. Yeah. <laughs> it looks great. It looks awesome. It does. And the best thing about it is now we're going to get to give this car to someone that we think is going to really, really enjoy it, uh -huh. which is amazing. Yep. And just by coincidence, that guy Scoot behind the camera. Scoot. <laughs> he doesn't even know. <laughs> this car's yours. What do you mean? <laughs> this GT86 is yours. You can stop <laughs> filming now. <laughs> you can stop, <laughs> you can stop <laughs> filming. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, so uh, we heard you like Jap cars. You don't have to film. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> so we heard you like Jap cars. I was Jap more cars. blessed I got to film you guys. <laughs> <laughs> that's yours. Yeah. No, that's not. <laughs> yeah, that's I yours. swear it's not. <laughs> yeah, it is. I've it? come down here to film. And that's it. That's it. That is your car. Hey, so I cannot. <laughs> no, take it. We have just been rushing. Yeah, there was a mad dash so, to get this thing. There's a few things that Marty doing, but we know you like a project. We know you're into cars. And Chiro said you love Japanese cars. I hope he's not lying. Um, there's, a, there's a catch. <laughs> there's no catch. Uh, there's that a, car is yours. There's a 100% a catch. There's no catch. <laughs> there's an issue with the brakes, but we'll get to that. But this car is yours. It runs, it drives, and it is 100% yours. No catch. What? There you go, Scoot. <laughs> Me and Freddie have been working hard to get this done. Whoa, nah, I can't. I can't get emotional. <laughs> I'm, I'm, a bit, I'm a bit like, are you serious? Yeah. 100%. Serious. <laughs> There's no way. I'm not going to get emotional. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you like GT86s because. <laughs> wow. Wow. Have you just passed your test or? Uh, it's over a year now. And you've not got a car? Honestly, when my uh, nan passed away, I took that on board because uh, granddad didn't want to get rid of it. Yeah. And uh, 
I really, really want to keep up my channel, so I thought I'd put all my money into going abroad and uh, I didn't spend anything. So I've got a dented, scratched up, 200 pound worthy Fiesta, which I'm so embarrassed about <laughs> taking to stuff and... Well now, no, now, now you have a GT. And this is like a, it, it, I know you're into cars, so like a project as well. This is nuts. This is <laughs> I'm just cry. I can't cry. I can't <laughs> cry. I can't <laughs> cry. I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it's pretty clean. Like the cars. <laughs> what do you clean. mean? Like, <laughs> like I showed you my Fiesta. This is like a pony <laughs> take to it. <laughs> I'm We've not got... kidding you, my Fiesta was worse than your P1. Oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm not even joking, like, that's how bad it was. Look, how does it sound? Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Car. <laughs> yes! I wish I could rev. My foot is shaking so okay. much right now. <laughs> oh, I love Goodbye. this. <laughs> <laughs> well, that went, uh pretty well didn't it oh say. dude I, I love this I lo thank you so much for, for making me a part of this yeah no that was so good and he clearly loves it so <laughs> thanks for bringing him down Chiro he's crying get him <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to hide I was trying to hide oh it's got a carbon bonnet as well we're gonna have to leave it there guys thanks so much for watching this video it's been so, well it's been amazing to make and it's great to do stuff like this so uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Of course, we couldn't let him leave without doing the brakes. We've got a EBC big brake kit on there as well with braided lines front and rear. So Scoot is going to be more than happy. That looks sick. I'm not that much of a scumbag. I couldn't let him leave with no brakes.